Testing one, two, three. Testing one, two, three. Hello? Hello? Is this actually working? It's the only thing it's so far, right? There's a limit to what we can do with technology, even with some, even with a lot of preparation beforehand. Not that I had any this time, of course, but you know, I guess that's kind of what happens when you, you live a lot, most a lot of your life, you much faster than you think. Kind of don't really know another way to live. Of course, didn't mean to start to stream off when the person move. Um I think I'm running out of time and uh I when I tried to uh, I tried to write this uh, early on. Um let's see um I tried to uh, I was playing I'm doing this the whole thing with a too long and stuff. Uh it's a kinda like a haha funny moment where it's like where it's like you know um oh it looks like Lowell's made it to the full year of um, YouTubing and without being cancelled, without getting to it longer than now they're writing the first code on right? <laughs> Honestly, um, there was some stuff that happened in the YouTube community that kind of made people uh, be afraid of like to it longer and stuff. I mean, it's to the point where I wouldn't have been able to make the joke or do the joke properly if I never wanted to. And maybe a shit poster by like my very nature, but at the same time, it's like, um, there comes a, there's time and place, I guess, but, uh, yeah, um, I was originally going to do this off stream, I was, like, writing this huge, 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 uh, thank you, uh, thank you for the headpad, uh, Steel, unfortunately, um, I can't be headpad in VR chat form, at least, uh, not yet, you know? I mean, you know what, I'm going to at least do this to make it easier. Yeah, I'm going to, uh... Going to... Ah! There, smart... There, doing it the smart way now. I'm, uh, attaching this to my wrist so I can read chats while, um... while I was, uh, doing this. <laughs> and, um... I know I'm... I know uh, I should have totally, you know, popped on Twitter and Discord and whatever and, uh... Announced that I was even going live. I guess I could still do that. I could do that from. I could probably still do that from. Within. Um, from within VR. While things are still stable. Um, I mean, let's see like, how, if I can do it really quick before uh, everything crashes on me. Um, so. I'll need, to, I'll need to improvise a bit here. I can just uh, copy and paste stuff, I guess. Um, because it's kind of a pain in the ass to type everything by hand, so um, it's like it's like pulling teeth, basically. Um, actually, I got an idea. Uh, this might work. This might not work. I I'm already failing at trying to navigate Discord while in VR mode, virtual and virtuality mode. Um, so what I'm thinking about doing is, if, if Discord will load, encoding overloaded, so you're turning in settings, well, we, well, we cannot do that right now, uh, Discord. 
At least I will I will not do that just yet. Right now this one. Fuck it. You know what? There's something oddly uh, there's something oddly convenient about the fact that even the last day of this um, anniversary stream, I'm already going. I'm already going with full. I'm already going full scuff right here. It's true what they say. There's no such thing as a YouTube stream that's not scuff. I guess I could just really quickly pop on, pop on uh, Twitch and Twitter. Go to Twitter and. Um, all the Discord links and just very hurriedly it'd be like, hey everyone, I'm on li I'm live for the last minute. <laughs> Fuck it. Just do it really fast. Sonic pass. Yes. Yes. I will, in a little bit. I know. Mm. 
Not yet. Let's just make it simple. Pizza, I guess. All right, let's do it. I know, uh, the, uh, the, uh, crunchy one, the five one. Okay. Yeah, let's do it. Um, order it before they close, of course. Okay. Domino's then. Yeah. Okay. Uh, later. Okay. Order it before they close, Danny. They close at like 9, right? Okay. 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 Okay, okay. Bye. There. Jesus Christ. Uh, one of these days just gotta be a way to do this. Okay. Better way, so to speak. How did I get down here again? Excuse me, chat. Seems like I respawned. Maybe it's because it turns to me going to pink. <laughs> At least that's one of my assumptions. This is. But I'm back. Nice thing about video today, thing at the very least, is that I can just edit yeah, most of the stuff out post in post, right? I say, not knowing how to, or not having video edited anything like forever. Probably also helps that without anyone is watching this like right now, right? It's kind of well, that's not a good idea to have. I feel like I always felt like when you're an entertainer or when you create something to some other people, or if you are doing something for other people, you know. We should always, should always, think about, as if they're always there, we should always have the person in mind, so to speak. I guess that's part of the reason- Wow, shit! I guess that's part of the reason I get anxious so all the time about this sort of thing. Hey, so. Oh. Hey, everyone. <laughs> um. Hey. 
but just, you know what i was just kind of talking to myself as i literally read as i was talking about how oh you should always think of other people when you create content that is meant for people other than yourself because even if you think oh you can just afford to be lazy and you know half-ass things the fact of the matter is um you need to i mean someone has to read your sharing someone has to watch everything and whatnot someone's going to be there so i mean even if even if there is no one there even if you're just if you really are just doing things for yourself um even if you are just like doing things for yourself and whatnot um you should you it's just and some people call this perfectionism and some people like you know some people think that there's such things good enough and on some things there are there's such thing as good enough and other things there's a there's a difference between deciding something's good enough and something being the result of you not caring and um thank you for the resub based on um, eight months jesus and this is the reason why i'm here today why i'm doing this at vr chat um um i wanted to do this really long kind of apologize or not what the fuck am i saying this um sort of um test here does a sort of credits thing this sort of um vlog where i kind of reflect on a year of being a youtuber and um basically um what i learned and the people that helped me throughout this long journey and i had all these preconceptions about how i would do this i was i was funny like i was thinking like and i was going to write this uh this uh funny troll show to a blogger and be like oh guys i made it to my last day as a full year of vtubing but um i got to it longer oh no i broke my streak and then you would read it and be like oh it's not it's not a drama to it longer it's not one of those longer where i'm calling someone out or i'm being called out i even had this whole thing prepared like oh my experience with the uh, roast i'm sure but you know what not only did i completely fail to prepare this thing and fail in delivery but i'm there's also all the shit that was going on recently about, um, you know, people faking these uh, going away posts, these um, deactivation posts. And now I just don't have a taste for it because, I mean, even as a shit post, or even as a troll myself, there's a time and place. And doing something like, oh, before I deactivate, it's just, it's a bad taste. At least with Twitter longer. Meanwhile, there's not much. There aren't that many reasons, you know, for um, deactivating the account outside of cancellation and being an asshole. And I guess part of the reason why I wanted to write all of it down first was because there was something like, there's no way in hell I'm going to be able to remember everyone, right? And I guess it's kind of impossible to acknowledge every single person would ever get an effect on me again. Not to get too personal, but um, I celebrated my grandma's life. 90th birthday or something last summer. Um, and I was very told, told at the very last minute, oh, we need to do a speech or whatever. Yeah. And um, I thought about what <laughs> There used to be a time where I was really super anxious about that sort of thing. Uh, but when I went on stage to do the thing, I started, I told everyone, you know, it's kind of stupid to try and convince the entirety of a woman's 90 years of living into a fucking speech and life items. It's stupid. It's, you can never, and I say this fully, uh, I should say this as an ISO right stuff whose whole job revolves around trying to make realistic sounding people that you could empathize with, sympathize with, and the fact of the matter is you'll never get close. 
there's not enough words in human language to fully talk about the effects my family had on me growing up. So all I can say is, well, thank you for being my grandma. And I will attempt to specify some people because or some people on the YouTube community and outside the YouTube community for uh leading to building up to how I am as a how I end up as a YouTuber today. I mean not everyone takes it to like a full year of YouTube, right? But um I'll start off with an module. I'm not gonna get a one. It's not possible for me to possibly get a point. It's just, it's not. But no matter who you are, if we interact in some way, positively, negatively, if you ever liked, retweeted, if you ever just lurked in chat, I don't know, I have not met you personally or anything. Thank you very much from the bottom of my down to the heart for being a part of my relatively short life as an official intelligence on the internet. Found on some websites. At least they're doing this thing, or is it doing this um, show several times, a few times a week? Now, I'm gonna try and go down the line. I'm gonna try and go down, um, go down. I, I even, I I did write, I did manage to write something. I decided, you know what, fuck it, I can, I can do this. I have to, I have to, I just have to go live and just like do it live, like that, uh, like the GIF. But, um, I'm gonna try and go down. Through sheer memory, and uh, talk about everyone who has ever had this kind of effect in my life. Um, starting off with uh, Danger U. Danger U is the extent and is the community I was originally mostly part of when I, yeah, before I became a YouTuber, I um, spent most of my time in. It's basically, it's from the video game the uh, Cyberpunk digital novel Bartending Simulator Valhalla. Um, it's actually a website too. There is some. Um, it's a uh, there's a tech there's a text board which is a period of 4chan in the game called DG and um a developer by the name of Prefetcher made a website I made this website in reality. I found this website completely by accident. Um on the Google Play Store, no less. It's gotta be why do my eyes keep this word? Anyway. Ah much better. I don't know if it's any better, but we'll do our best. Um, so I found this community and hung out there for the next five years after I found them, um, mostly as a role player and then as a moderator. Uh, for a lot of personal reasons, which I'm not going to go into right now, I left the, that community for the most part. I'm technically, I'm I'm technically uh, on high edges to become a YouTuber, and I was inspired to become a YouTuber by, oh, thank you, Steve. <laughs> I was inspired to be a YouTuber by two main people, uh, um, Norvi, or Norvi, who was a good, for, really good friend, really close friend from YouTube, who I did a lot of playing with. Um, she announced one day that she wanted to be a YouTuber, and I was like, well, shit, if you're going to be a YouTuber, I got this model, I was designing Gearoid, that I never finished, that I just kind of fucked around with. That I should go ahead and totally finish and turn into a YouTube model. Because up to that point, um, I pretty much sometimes streamed on our Discord. Um, when I share my Discord, I would use a uh, face rig to use a live 2D avatar that I got off the workshop for YouTube. And, um, and, uh, so yeah, I used that for YouTube. Well, technically, YouTube, you know. And, um, I used that. And also around the same a similar time, I had a friend named Puddy, Puddy One, who was not a YouTuber, they were a streamer, they were a Twitch streamer. And at this time, I really didn't like social media at the time, still kind of, but um, uh, I popped into one of Puddy's streams one day and he seemed to be having a good time. He had a lot of uh, people that came to watch him and throw bits and make fun of his antics. He, was, he seemed really natural doing all that stuff at night. I asked him about what it was like in Twitch and stuff and whether he had a plan or anything before before his stream. So I assumed that it was more show business than actually this. And he said, uh, no, he just does whatever he wants. He's pretty much he just he's just himself. My mic is robotic. That's weird. I mean 
that's kind of weird. Is it at least understandable or shit me? I'm being subconscious about this. Um Power Bomb if I'm talking like because OBS shows that y'all should be able to hear me right now. And I'm single PC streaming right now from sorry keep going, nothing. Well, as long as I can be understanding. Also I'm kind of having a hard time talking in real life in real life. So I'm doing this live, right? Well, live ish. I'm also recording this so I can edit it and put it on YouTube later. Um, but, um, so, uh, so, um, fuck. So, and he said, um, that he doesn't really plan his shit. He just, he literally just, he's, he's, he's just himself. And I thought, that's, that's actually kind of cool. I think. Realize that I thought Twitch streamers were more about you know, I thought Twitch streamers were more important. I thought I thought it was more, it, was, it seems like it's more improv improvisation than a lot more improvisation than I thought. It was a lot more, it's a lot less shallow, it's a lot more real, real, realistic. Is I mean, I remember one time on the text board, someone asked me what it's like, well, what, how do I approach streams, and I told I mean, to me, uh, streaming on Twitch is not too different from what I used to do, just popping onto Discord's uh, voice calling system and just streaming whatever I'm doing at a time and just talking to people and shitposting. I know I don't get that many, I don't know, I, I know I don't get, it's not like I get hundreds of thousands of people uh, watching me every time I go live or anything, but um, even if I did, uh, I still try to treat people as if they were just groups of friends and seeing Discord community that were just, you know, uh, stopping by to hang out and uh, talk and watch whatever the hell else I was doing. And so that kind of changed for good, in a good way, um, pretty much how I viewed content creation, at least on Twitch. Just, it's kind of like the initial point, like the realization that despite what it looks like, it's less like Hollywood, but it's more like, it's closer, it's YouTube, when, when YouTube was new, it was really people just not being afraid of being stuffed. Very, very low, uh, very low um, production value type stuff, right? Um, look at me, trying to, trying to be, trying to uh, do the stuff I do on a regular stream with, with my regular model with like, deep motion, whatever. <laughs> but, um, so, they're basically the ones that initially leads me to become a YouTuber. But the reason the meetings I brought into up first, even though I just finished saying that I left the community for the most part for personal reasons, um the reason why I bring them first is because my first few a lot of my a lot of my friends and people I was chill with around forty of you or so followed me from DJV to our new Discord community to supporting my streams, a lot of a lot, a lot of my own streams. So, and a lot of new VTubers, you know, have that kind of support network, you know, and honestly, um, I didn't really leave the community on such great terms. Uh, there were a lot of, there were some bridges that I ended up burning in the process, and, um, I've done, I've done this bridge burning thing a lot of times. I still miss what I'm talking about because, um, uh, he's part of a earlier, earlier community before the engine that was part of that, uh, had a lot of ups and downs and a lot of downs, but, um, um, honestly, if it wasn't for people like Aislinn and Steel being my mods and being my city managers and <laughs> doing a lot of work behind the scenes to help try and keep me, like, sane and, uh, uh, encourage and support me, I, I don't know, I, I, I don't know how well this would have done. They probably would have gotten more. <laughs> um, and not only that, I got really lucky early on with uh, the initial uh, YouTube groups and YouTube events that I made up, which I will attempt to uh, look through here. Um, let me see. Let me see. So, um, so, um, shit, I can't, um, uh, wait, um, right here? Ah. Using power technology, we can, uh, ha, 
Okay, so, um, the first people I actually befriended on Twitch and that I can remember, uh, Sleepy Hazard, YouTuber, found all my earlier streams when I was actually designing this model live on my video on my video speed. And they were like probably the first YouTuber I can remember that she followed me on Twitch, which was kind of cool. Probably one of the first people I was not from one of my previous meetings or not a close friend to follow me on to follow me on Twitch. And after that um after that um was pretty much first collab with three VTubers um, named Christian Meet Meet Me Meet Me. Um I believe I'm trying to remember Avon's Twitter handles by memory, which is insane. Uh, Tatiana Perdanova and um, Sippy. <laughs> and, um, it's so awkward trying to do. I can't do expressions, but these Twitter developments can't track your expressions. Um, but uh, they were the first VTubers that I ever collabed with, which was really fucking cool. Uh, we did a Halo collab. And right after that, um, we did it. We, I participated in like the largest collab I've ever been part of, then or since, with um, Professor Tetsuro. That was like an eight-person collab. It was also one of the uh, first clips and highlights we ever took. It was. It's wild that that was one of my first collabs because, I mean, eight plus people, all of us strangers too, um, and we were all new YouTubers. Some of us were actually pre pre YouTubers, right? Um. Then even had, only had like static images and stuff. And this first time I ever used the reactive images too, we can just have dumped all our reactive images into each other's OBS and like helping each other um figure out how that works and uh, just play the last several many a few hours worth of scuffed Halo Infinite back when Halo Infinite was new. And I mean, trying to get go online. Of, I'm just I'm gonna try and just do my best to go through. All the VTuber clicks. I use click in an endearing way, not in not in like, you know, not in like that insulting way. Um, um VTuber groups, I'm, I have a I have a lot of VTuber neutrals and I kind of meander between you and system and stuff, right? Um so I'm just gonna go through each group that I can remember. Um and also a lot of individuals who aren't part of groups that I've become fairly close to, um, as I could think of them. Um if, like for example, you know what? I'm just gonna go straight into it. Uh application then boy is another boy VTuber and also another artificial intelligence VTuber that I've been friends with for a while. Um we hang out you all saw all probably seen over the past week uh, that I hung out a lot with him. Um in um VR chat. They're a very, a very cool person. Uh <laughs> I am um, yeah. Kind of, uh, when I, I'm kind of um, a paranoid personality, so when we first started hanging out, um, um, I didn't respond that all that much to them at first, just because I'm, because I'm kind of new to this whole thing. I take, it takes me a really long time to like, get comfortable with people and whatnot, but um, they've helped me out a lot with um, just everything from come to a lot of my streams, for one thing. It's always good to have regulars and also helping me a lot with like uh, technical stuff like getting my art because they're a they're a 3d model of themselves so helping me a lot with, um, with my DOI avatar and unstuffing things like uh new motion cameras and that's uh, un unstuffing them uh un unstuffing pretty much obs and other things um <gasps> I literally started off this, this, I need to ask her, oh, welcome, welcome, I'm, I'm just, um, going down, basically, um, trying to do an end of year acknowledgement of pretty much everyone that's ever had a positive influence on me and the YouTube community, and just, it's still like a giant credits list, and it's, I had all these plans and stuff to, like, prepare all the stuff, and they've all kind of fallen through, so I thought, hey, I'll just, go live and um, talk about all this stuff like live right um and um it's going about as well as you can imagine um so i'm doing my best to like uh, to like um stay stable while doing all this i don't even have any water or any drinks 
uh, beard. I chugged a pepper energy before going on there, or doing all this. But um, and I only have so many words. I mean, I'm gonna be here all night if I had to go through a form. Like even you, Escroft. A lot of people that end up having the largest effect in my life, I literally just met on accident. But, I mean, you see all this follow for follow crap on Twitter and stuff. Um, but all the major communities even that I'm, I'm a part of were met through chance. Uh, one second. Doing everything last night to me that I'm going to stay in the spot. Now it appears to be the time I'm going to I'm going to very quickly. Oh, great. What else? Oh, no. It's not that I have a sore throat. I'm I don't know. Just I'm frustrated. It's like I can't I really wish I had done this shit earlier. Like. So now I have a time limit and there's nothing I can do about the time limit. I, and I just got this fucking voice in the back of my head being like, why did you procrastinate so long? You should have done all this shit like a week ago. So you don't need to be rushing everything and like stumbling over your words and just uh, do something like pop online and try to somehow remember over a year's worth of influencers who influence your own life and led to you still being around here are still being around when you literally started off this giant speech with telling people that it's not humanly possible for you to say everything to say everything that you want to say to everyone about why you are so gr grateful to everyone for being around to for being for uh giving shit about you when when you don't like and okay uh, you know what I, I mean i i guess i can't self-pity it when when everything just fucking sucks and not everything fucking sucks i'm just frustrated with myself and with never being satisfied with i mean <laughs> you know what no 
No, no, no. No, no. Sometimes, when everything seems to go to shit, the only thing you can do is think about what the, it has gone wrong. And stop worrying about, stop worrying about shit that you can't affect. Stop, stop, stop pitying yourself. Just look. I want to thank the following. I would like to, th I like to thank the following major YouTuber communities that I've been part of. For basically um, contributing to why I'm still here as a VTuber, why I've made it to a full year as a VTuber and Solar Hicks, um, and you know, I would like to start off with the danger art. I would like to, and I'm just gonna, and instead of, I originally had all these plans for making this huge monologue and stuff, but um. There's only so much I can say about if one, and instead of doing it, instead of like, instead of like making, trying to make a several hours long comp a comp a compilation, which uh, I'm just going to go down the line and as quickly um, do my best to uh, sum up this one. To the danger you commit to, I know we have, I know I haven't visited y'all in a while. Um, hope you're all doing great. Um, I want Haven Boy. I want to thank you all for initial for um, initially for helping me become a VTuber, especially to Steel and to Aislinn for being my mods and community managers for helping to keep me sane. <laughs> Which you know we joke all the time about that shit, but that's the honest object. I didn't treat you, you know you we both know how I am this person. You know, there's no, there's, I, I don't know how well I would have done if it was not for both of you and also the rest of the danger community I decided to and follow me in this path. Um, I want to, the per, next major group of people I want to um, thank are Professor Tetsuo's uh, community. He was one of the first YouTubers to became Mood Squid and posted the biggest. Um, the biggest collab I, I ever was part of and have ever been part of since the Hill Infinite Collab. They're really cool people, very, uh, uh, very, uh, very cool, cool group of people, I should say. Um, incidentally, I also happen to be a mod with community nowadays. Um, uh, basically, um, yeah. <laughs> The next uh, major community I want to uh, give thanks to is my highest community, another fellow AI VTuber. Um, my star between back in I think January of last year or this year, and also a very cool person, uh, very, uh, very, very, um, very needy such as myself, um, very calming, very, very uh, a um, ASMR related, and I'm also just kind of a General, of general kind of a, kind of a very, I guess I would call aesthetic and very, um, mood, or, I don't, I, I don't know how to, how to describe their kind of outside of ASMR, um, and so outside of, um, playing a lot of comfy games, doing a lot of, uh, voice acting, doing a lot of things that revolve around, um, kind of enforcing a very relaxed atmosphere type. YouTuber. Um, I've also been kind of watching over streams as, um, as basically as uh, they're basically the first YouTuber I ever did. I was ever a mod for and still am a mod for them. And um, they, if I could say earlier in this, um, earlier in this uh, monologue. And I'll, I'll have to like edit this comp that, that cut in this site. I'm I'm sorry, but I don't have time to go back over uh, Norvi and put me right now. So I'm having to having to redo so so much for doing all this in one take, right? Um, 
I talked earlier about what it what it means to to be to be genuine, to be yourself in a industry that I originally thought was super shallow, super entertainment based. Um, part of the reason I stuck with Maya for so long was because one of her earlier stream early streams she talked about how she became a YouTuber and she became a YouTuber by turning to YouTubers to watch their streams to relax during a dark time of her life and she talks all the time about being wanting to be that kind of comfort to other people and I really when she says that I really feel like she really means what she 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 really needs it she she really needs it um, when she says that she's that kind of person and I don't really know how to describe it I mean I don't really know how to I don't really know how to explain or to like reinforce to um, give evidence for um, the evidence for that um, it's just it's all it's all feel it's um it's really subjective it's a uh, uh, yeah, yeah, just trust me, bro. <laughs> um, but those of you who know me pretty well, you know how very, like, very slow to trust on me. So, I don't take stuff like that. Like, you know? So it's kind of fairly strange, and I'm actually finding myself kind of weirded out by this, too. Um, it's, so I found it very strange that one of the communities that I ended up identifying the most with, making the most friends with, actually, bar none, I made the majority of my YouTube friends, not just on Twitter, not just, not just on Twitter, but actually in the BFGC, run by Serena Karina, the, uh, it's one of the largest, uh, I think the largest, YouTuber fighting game communities out there. Yeah, right, fighting game, fighting game players, right? You would have seen, uh, a lot, there's a lot of stereotypes around by fighting game players as being super toxic, super elite, super, like, super like um exclusive as opposed to inclusive communities but no one the youtube fighting game community is probably one of the most real probably the most welcoming probably the most um, friendly communities in the youtube game community i have ever been a part of like so many like literally so many of my friends and i and i mean friends i don't just mean mutuals i mean friend friends come from the youtuber fighting game scene that i can't even Ping and list them all in this vid. I won't even be able to uh, mention all of them in Twitter. It will take more than 140 words. It will be. It will look like mention spam, as if this whole thing that I'm doing right now is not going to turn into mention spam when I eventually get all the shit edited and posted on Twitter anyway. Or on Twitter longer. I mean, I could. I I will go. I will at least mention. I will at least say Shika and King Kuma. Shika, Shika and King Kuma. Who were pretty much my tutors, the people who taught me how to play Strive, and also Kira Dream, who is who is like one of my first rivals in Europe to Gear, who's a really good person that we, that we hung out with. And um fuck me shit. I, yeah, I I no, there's too many people. I feel bad for not being able to mention all of you because it feels like I'm excluding you, but believe me, I'm not trying to exclude anyone. I'm not trying to exclude anyone from you this video. Maybe that was the Maybe that was the thing that was absurd for trying to even make this giant acknowledgement stream and acknowledgement video. I can't possibly include everyone. I'm going to be here. I, I literally, you know, I'm having a hard time just going through this list. Right? Because, like... Anyway, I'm moving on now. Next group of uh, VTubers that I want to acknowledge is Cosmo Bergamos. Uh... YouTuber community. He doesn't, he has his own personal server, but the main server he has, it, he has that I mean, a lot of other cool people through or through his uh, collab Discord. Um, and that Discord is mainly for doing VTuber collabs. He's a DD based VTuber, and a lot of the uh, collabs he did were around tabletop role games. And that's actually the first time I did a tabletop role playing game, uh, collab or otherwise for anyone in a while. I used to be a DM myself, and my DM can my my DM community sometimes shuttered due to, you know, if you play DM, you know what I'm talking about. Where, um, it's 
kind of difficult to get a it's because it is a group of friends and where there's something I like role playing in my DD emotion or um keeping one of those together is fairly difficult just because of all that's involved and like like the time and commitment and the emotional the friend the friend commitment so hey everyone good evening <laughs> um so that's another community I want to acknowledge for contributing to me being here a year later um and i want to i cannot end this uh, stream without mentioning at least once um Gooby and um fa um they were also some of the earliest vtubers i have in the youtube community and um they're oh shit. and they're important for the fact that um uh one of my earliest streams Oh, wait, where's my camera? Shit. Damn it. One of the earliest streams I had, um, I went, on, I went live, and I didn't really need for anyone to show up or anything. And, um, I just remember them. I just remember I was just kind of playing something online. I was kind of depressed. I was super depressed. It was obvious and forcing. Um, they literally just saw me online on Twitch, and they, like, and they popped in the chat, and they were like, "Hey, do you want to play some games with us?" So hang out on our voice chat together. And it was just out of nowhere. They only knew me for like like only a few seconds too. I mean that was from seeing me post on one of those um oh drop your links and uh let's go let's uh, drop your links and follow each other things on Twitter. Way back months m many months ago back before that was back before that was a cloud chasing thing and back when people actually care about this sort of thing. We don't I haven't seen Faye online forever and I don't really hang out with Google anymore. But I will never forget that because, I mean, think about that. Just how often do you do people just come up to you just out of nowhere and are just like, "Hey, you want to hang out with us?" It's sort of shit that you that that seems planned or you just it's you don't even expect. You hear people talk about him, like um, and you know, like do and just um, do anecdotes about it. When it happens to you, you remember it forever. Because it's it's just something that you don't expect. It's what's uh it's just special, you know? And um running out of time here. Pretty sure I'm already out of time and I'm just running on but um uh um YouTuber supporters, YouTuber supporters is a concept kind of, is kind of dead now because of a lot of trauma that happened over the past month. But um, I do want to acknowledge uh, two major YouTube supporters that helped me a lot. Um, one of them has retired a long time ago for a reason, for personal reasons, which I'm not going to get into. But um, they were Serena the Slime, and um, their their for their YouTube supporting thing was. Uh, way beyond just who tweets and stuff, they actually like go to what well, he he went through my content with me and like uh showed me things that could improve their better for marketing and stuff. And basically, uh, gave like actual classes and stuff. And they're also they stream a little bit of themselves, they're cool, they were cool to hang out with like live and stuff. And um, it sucks that they're no longer around and whatever, but um, they did helped me a lot in the practical ways of like ways to better watch myself, ways to mess around with the twit with the Twitter algorithm, things like that. Um Grand I also want to acknowledge Eldritch Grandpa, a Grandpa VT, Grandpa VTuber, the only Grandpa VTuber out there who does most of the many many of the same things. So they're one they're pretty much the original VTuber supporter. Um and um basically that part of it is they went came from a marketing background. So they applied 
what they knew from their real world community applied to VTubing. And they still do that in combination with actual VTubing stuff on their own. And um, I have a great deal of respect for them. They are a deal of respect for them. And uh, um, basically how they are as a person. And um, if you know who I'm talking about, I they did their work pretty much speaks for itself, right? Um, there's so much more I can say. There's so much more I want to say. I think I pretty much covered all the major groups that I can think of. Like, oh, no, 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 no. I can't forget Blue Shoes community for a number of reasons. First of all, um, Wushu and I met through Twitter. Completely relaxing. We kind of shared ship ghosts. We actually ran into each other completely on accident in VR chat one time. I'll tell you that. I still have a clip of that. That I'll probably post. I'll somehow edit into this video whenever I finish this video. But um, one time in VR chat, uh, we were just kind of, I was kind of hanging out or doing one of my earlier VR chat streams on here on Twitch. And um, I was hanging out in Club Orion. And some people noticed that I was streaming the uh, Club Orion and they were asking me why I was streaming Club Orion. So I was telling them that, oh, I'm a YouTuber, I'm a streamer, and I just wanted to show my followers what VR chat was like and whatever. Hey, Joe, welcome to the stream. I just wanted to show them what VR chat was like. And then Wushu heard, like, in the chat, in the club, like, someone mentioned VTubing. So they ran over to where I was just like, hey, did someone mention that I was a VTuber? Or they mentioned that they were VTubing? And I was like, oh, yeah, I'm. I'm a, I'm a V2, I'm streaming right now. And then I noticed that the name said Wushu VT, and I was like, wait, are you the Wushu? Like, the Wushu, the uh, ninja, demon ninja, or whatever? And he's like, yeah, it's me. I'm like, oh, you, we actually are mutes on now. We're actually mutes on Twitter. <laughs> um, I'm Lawler Hicks. And he's like, oh shit, it's Lawler Hicks. <laughs> we're like, um, we're like, hung out there. And that, that's like one million. If you, if you all know how VR chat actually works, that's almost impossible to run to the other people on VR chat that you know outside VR chat, right? So that was cool. And um they were a preview tour for the longest time and they debuted a few months ago on here. Their community is pretty cool. I hang out with them sometimes. And um um one of their followers actually uh, followed me or followed or followed me from their from our found out about me through their community. Uh, through their promotion channel and, they, and um this follower uh i think they go by death wish actually um actually uh introduced me to one of their friends uh vexray and i remember or i remember vexray because of their the first v2 or their first uh follower to just pop on and uh just casually drop 150 subs which is a stupid amount of money <laughs> Which I then used to, because I don't really, I don't make any money from Twitch, or I mean, I make money from Twitch, but all of it I've sent back into an account that's specifically just for PC maintenance and PC upgrades. And thanks to them, I got a capture card, which allowed me to continue streaming a bunch of uh, uh, games that are made in this century, <laughs> um, and do some do some critical upgrades to my breaks. That um made things a lot simpler, made things a lot easier. Um so um if it if it wasn't for that, that there was degrees of separation, like me randomly running to Wushu from the ship post on Twitter to continuing to hang out with his community, to meeting this follower, to this happening. I mean, who knows? I might not if you even be able to stream here um, in VR chat with my six, seven year old rig. <laughs> and you know, this is, I would like to see this as an isolated case. And I never ran to someone again who could drop that much money, and I don't need to. This story is not unique for that fact. It's, it's not unique at all for the fact that every time you put yourself out there, and you run it and do network and you put yourself out there and you meet, allow yourself to meet new people and hang out with new people, complete strangers. So I'm saying this completely as a 
person who's extremely who is, has serious issue with paranoia. You don't know when the person that you befriend, that you allow yourself to get close to, can change your life in ways that you cannot expect, in ways that are that will forever that will forever that will forever like affect you. And some of them can hurt you, some of them probably will. But as speaking as a very cynical person, a very pessimistic person myself. I found over the course this year that more often than negativity and then even in toxicity, I've somehow grown into more positive, more often, more um, good people. And bad people, um, almost enough to maybe think that, you know what, maybe, maybe people in general do tend to tend towards goodness than um, badness. Some English major I turn off. Yeah, I can't even fucking say this shit. Or I can't even uh, fucking uh, I can't even uh, express this in a way that makes sense. I'm not even sure if I were to try and redo this take a week, a month from now, if I could do this any better because or do this more succinctly. I it's probably a good thing that I went live on to uh, live on Twitch after all. So I don't know. How many of y'all will even get to see this? I'm not even sure if I'll be able to find time to edit this into a into a vlog that makes sense. Sometimes doing things live is the best because no amount of jump cuts or preparation or redos are gonna make it better. Sometimes and even if you do, maybe something will be lost in the editing process, you know? That's something. I guess it goes all goes back although all goes back to thanks for the hug but it goes back all to that whole thing where it turns out streaming is a lot different than other forms of concentration in the sense that it feels more real because it's not scripted, it's not planned. Trying to script this shit failed. I just kept thinking to myself, I spent a year doing all this shit live, doing everything, improvising everything. Fuck it, you know, I'll do it again. I'll this is my, this is my end of year message to the Boutine community. To all of you who I cannot, who I cannot think of right now, I'll, you'll probably come to mind eventually when I turn out, when I go off stream, when I turn off the camera. And to all of you that I've acknowledged, all the people that I have not acknowledged, all the people that I will acknowledge in the future as I continue doing all this, it, to everyone that's watching, even people are seeing this weird fanboy uh, stream or talk about this for the first time ever. To all the people that will ping right after this, after I after I shove this uh, crazy Twitch stream or onto YouTube and up everything, thank you so much. What I said at the end of my, of my speech from my grandma's 90th birthday was, it's a, it's a, it's a, crack, it's a measure in, it's, um, it's, it's fruitless to try and create a speech that can effectively dictate my appreciation for her being my grandma for over 90 years. It's impossible. And it's just as impossible for me to properly and completely articulate the absolute extent to which I am grateful to all of you that I have known over this past year of each year. So I hope that in place of trying to do the impossible, that this will suffice. From the very bottom of my heart, thank you for being here. All right. Um, yeah, I like I I, 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 I think I'm losing all the blood now. So um, um, yeah, I I, I gotta give a chance. <laughs> I, I really gotta. Give. 
goodbye. <laughs> now, I'll see you next week, I guess. Love you. I wish I knew how to smile in this form. Well, I'm just using my janky ass uh, B4 mod. <laughs> yeah, I think I'd have to. I don't know. <laughs> Alright. Good night, Chen.